Hey guys, Mark here. There was a new update for Vectonator. Vectonator is this uh, free vector editor. Unfortunately, it is available only on Apple system, so Mac OS and also iPad OS. I start to call it Inkscape for <laughs> Apple, for Mac devices. Unfortunately, Inkscape got some performance issues on Mac, but we got Vectonator instead, so the program is free and they just dropped a huge update. There's new mode in the Auto Trace feature. So this is the thing that is still missing in Affinity Designer, but Vectonator got quite decent Auto Trace feature. In the past you can switch between Photo and Inking modes and now they add one more dedicated mode for illustrations. So let's give it a go. Here I am. I got illustration and I'm going to select auto trace. As you can see, we got three options now and there's the new option illustration. I will click on that. And here it is. This is a vector based image. Now, if I simply zoom in, I should be able to see that everything is vector based right now. So to illustrate this, I can grab some editing tool like node tool and we can try to inspect some of those vectors. Take a look. This is definitely a vector shape. There's nothing under. This is typical result for auto trace. It's not human made image. So that's all right. But as far as I can tell, I really like how few points they draw. The, the, the w biggest problem for me with auto trace is the program is adding too many nodes. But so far, I really like the amount of nodes added to this illustration. So this is the quick way how you can turn raster image into vector image. Of course, it's not human made. So there will be some compromises. But so far, so good. This is this brand new illustration mode. I'm testing this on illustration, right? Take a look. Auto trace here. There are three modes. Photography, sketch and the brand new illustration mode. So before we got two modes, now we got three. There's a slider here and we can modify some properties. We want high details or low details. We want to simplify or no. So we can experiment with different options here before we click auto trace. And that's how you should actually try it this time i see some errors so the new properties i set up for it are not good so i can modify that how about if i set up to low wow actually it's lower detail but i really like some of those low detail shapes simple shapes all right let's undo once more I like how snappy it is. This one is too simple now. We got a lot of distortion. I think the very first setting, the setting that was picked up for us by the program was the best. So that was new mode illustration. There are two more modes. This is for sketch. It's automatically selected. I didn't select that before. So the program kind of detect what the image is about. Sketch. We can auto trace that. This feature was added this year around February, if I could remember. Perfect. As you can see, the sketch mode will ignore the white color by default. That's really handy. So from the raster sketch to the vector image in seconds is quite detailed. But on inspection, let's try with node tool. Let's try to check some details here. We got this white color ignore, so we got this transparency. I will need to open maybe this group. Here it is. Able to select some stuff, but not like this. I want to go into detail and check the curve itself. So node tool. And as you can see, we got nodes. So it's vector. And once again, I will say it's not bad, not too many nodes. I hate when they generate too many nodes. It's super hard to modify. In this case, I kind of happy with this result. So that's the sketch mode. Perfect if you got black and white sketch. And of course, we can save that as SVG and this is scalable. And this is the last mode, photo mode. 
I don't really know who is the target for that. I don't know anybody that use this. If you are the person that trace your photos into vectors, let me know. Tell me how do you work with them? How do you use them? I really wonder. I never ever do it myself. So we trace image into some kind of vector. We got some gaps between those shapes. That's strange. We are in dedicated photo mode, so that's surprising. Many white gaps around. That's not good result. How about inside? We got multiple shapes. Let's try to select one. All right, and there we got nodes all around. So there are definitely more nodes than in the new illustration mode. So that's really good. Now we don't need to use this photo mode with illustrations. We can tell the program that we got illustration and this way we can get less nodes. All right, so that's what I want to test with you guys. New auto trace mode. Now we got three modes for three different types of pictures. We can trace photos, sketches, and now illustrations as well. I wonder how many people will use it. I think this was quite requested features because many people make some illustrations in Procreate, then they trace that into vectors and they finish up using vector tools. So I think this will be really, really handy for, especially for iPad users. All right, guys, so that's the new update for Vectorinator and I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye.